Hello, I'm Bunnery. I'm Brad Marat, and, and this, this is IF, IF Extra. <laughs> so, what have you been doing this week? Uh, we've been enduring a heat wave, <laughs> trying to work through that, which is really hot. Mm -hmm. yes. um, but you've had the fan on, haven't you, and kept cool up here? Hey, I've been pretty good, actually. I mean, I, I haven't run the aircon at all yet, because mm -hmm. I've been trying really hard not to. And I've only had the fan on, like, maybe twice. Okay. So, yeah. That's not bad. Um, Anyway, what have you been doing? Glad you've been up here. Um, okay, so in terms of uh, stuff we've done with the game this week, uh, got quite a bit of stuff done on the app. Um, so this update isn't out yet, but very soon. Um, so uh, new game modes are in there now. Uh, Recall, Art Start, um, that's working. Um, also, you can create them in the app now, yeah, so you can start uh, Recall and Art Start games, you, if you're a supporter, of course, because they're a supporter feature. Um, also, challenges. Um, so as you know, we've got the monthly challenge that Ferret sets, uh, which is currently the right angles only challenge. You can join in that on the web and the app. Uh, however, on the web, you also have access to uh, challenge games created by supporters. Uh, so they can choose things like um, maybe I want everything to be grayscale or I want everything to be just dots. Um, and uh, you can create and play them on the web. They haven't been in the app, but they're in there now. Uh, I just need to fix like a couple of little things with that. There's like a bug with the timer I just need to deal with. Um, and then that's ready to release pretty soon, really. Um, so uh, yeah, quite pleased with that. And cool. um, yeah, I'll get even more people um, playing these uh, these challenges and um, the new game modes. So that'd, that'd be, cool. be nice. <laughs> Now, the other interesting thing that I've been doing, aside from app updates, is mm. I've been designing t-shirts. Oh. Mm, yes, because it's almost the 28th of June. In fact, next Tuesday, it'll be the 28th of June and Interference will be 12 years old, which uh, is a long time. <laughs> awesome and weird at the same time. Mm. Yes, it'll be a teenager next year. Wow. Um, but um, as is the tradition, I have designed a... Um, birthday shirt or anniversary shirt i should mm -hmm. say um so um we've we've got ours arriving uh any time now so uh they'll be um yeah they'll be uh they'll, they'll be cool but um also they're going to be in the store uh, if anyone else would like to celebrate and uh, get this uh, special 12th anniversary design on a shirt or you know a mouse mat or a badge or, or whatever i say badges um what's the word in the u.s pin Pin. uh, pins mm -hmm. um and uh yeah yeah you know if you want a little little memento but also as is the tradition uh we're going to have a little birthday party um, which normally happens on the closest Sunday to uh, the birthday. Mm -hmm. So that will be actually tomorrow. So the 26th, uh, we're going to have a, an extended Sunday evening stream. Mm -hmm. uh, normally we start a little bit before 7. We'll probably go like maybe an hour earlier. So we'll probably be starting around 6 p.m. UK. Uh, and um, we're going to do a few more things. Mm -hmm. um, used to sort of be like a, a combination of, of zeitgeist and interference and chill. Obviously, interference and chill on, on hiatus at the moment. But, you know, we like an excuse to draw. So, uh, all being well, should be the three of us, because Ferret's going to try and come over and join us as well. And we'll be uh, having a bit of a chat about what's been happening over the last year, like the new features we've added in and, uh, and what's been happening in the community. Um, we'll do a little bit of drawing. Um, like I don't, I don't think, I don't think I've seen Ferret do a um, recall game yet. So know, okay. you know that might be fun to do live. Um, and uh, then we'll have Zeitgeist as normal, mm -hmm. uh, and also cake, but not migraine cake. We had migraine cake last year; it wasn't great. Um, so that'll be uh, that'll be fun. If you'd like to join us and celebrate, then that'll be over on our Twitch channel, Twitch.tv/interference, uh, starting at probably six p.m. ish uh, UK tomorrow if you're on discord playinterference.com slash discord there's an event there if you click the uh, interested button on there discord will send you a reminder about it okay that's it for now so we're now going to see who won this week's awards picture of the week this week goes to illy for a brown cat laying on a crescent moon i just love the position it's in totally comfortable it just shows that cats will go to sleep anywhere that's brilliant well done illy My favourite description this week was Lemon with green hair annoyed by cherries being happy by Big. Ah yeah, I see what you mean there. That lemon doesn't look too impressed. In fact, you can almost say it's looking a little sour. Nice work, Big. Community pick of the week this week goes to um, JZ Neil for Grown Man in Silly Halloween Costume Slips on a Banana Peel. 
It just looks like something out of a comic book. It's very funny. Well done, Jay-Z. They were amazing. Awesome stuff there, as always. Now we're going to see what we were talking about last week in the forums. So last week in the forums, 9% said, you sometimes see funny Wi-Fi names like FBI surveillance. Mine is, I'm pretty fly for a Wi-Fi. So he was asking us, if we'd seen any funny Wi-Fi names around in the area? Have mm. you seen any? <laughs> um, I don't think there's anything particularly funny around here. No. Um, but I remember <clears throat> once when we went to, I think we went to see Richard III mm. in, in York, if I'm that outdoor one. Okay. Um, and there was a um, there was someone who set up a Wi-Fi network called um, If You Voted Brexit, Kiss My... Well, yeah, you get the point. Um, which kind of entertained me and I think was very popular. Yes. Um, I feel like I do see these occasionally, mm. but I, I can't really sort of draw any to mind that no, I've seen. No, yeah. I had one called Nacho Wi-Fi. Is this my Wi-Fi? Nacho your Wi-Fi. wifi. <laughs> and there's one just called Cut Your Lawn, which is obviously aimed at the neighbours. <laughs> oh, yeah, if I, you want to say something to your neighbours, just put it on your Wi-Fi name. <laughs> I have seen people be sort of passive-aggressive mm, to each other. Exactly. Um, with their, their Wi-Fi, with Wi-Fi. Yeah, it's quite interesting. <laughs> That's quite fun. But, I mean, if you've seen any, uh, please get um, put them in there on the forum. It's still open and available for extra things. There, there must be loads of them out there that are quite funny. Well, and now I was just going to make a little point here, mm-hmm. actually, which is... I feel like over the last, what, 10, 15 years, mm-hmm. Wi-Fi networks everywhere now, because mm-hmm. they used to be quite rare. Yeah, yeah. I remember, this has just jogged a thought in my mind, I remember many years ago, we used to work together, um, and uh, I was the network manager at this, this college where we used to work, and we were putting out Wi-Fi access points for the first time, and it was like a really rare thing. And I remember you bought me a T-shirt that mm. had like a little electronic gubbins on mm-hmm. that showed like a little wi-fi signal indicator and it kind of lit up the more the stronger the wi-fi signal was in an mm. area and it was really cool because as you walk around town like i wore it on nights out as you walk around town sometimes it would light up if there was a wi-fi network mm-hmm. and uh, but most of the time it wouldn't no, because no. they were rare yeah they but were. of course mm-hmm. now they're just like yeah, everywhere yeah, and it's like wifi, just yeah. total coverage well pretty yeah. much um, right. in towns here mm-hmm. at least. Yeah, yeah. It's just <laughs> interesting how many there are. Yeah. Anyway, so if you have any interesting names you've seen or perhaps your own network has an interesting name, that thread's still there, uh, just called um, Wi-Fi names. I think. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> okay, now we're going to see what we'll be talking about next week in the forums. What have you learned from interference? Random Roger says, IFX is an interesting place to learn things school never teaches. What fascinating things have you learned from playing IFX? If you'd like to chime in with that, just head over to the general discussion forum. It's the pin thread for the week, so you'll find it at the top of the thread list. Cool. Now, don't forget, tomorrow night is Zeitgeist Night. It's five rounds, five different topics. Mm, yeah, if you've not seen this before, every Sunday night at 7pm UK time over on twitch.tv slash interference, we run Zeitgeist, the interference quiz of the week. It's a live interactive quiz stream where you get to play along against the rest of the audience, competing for points and places on the leaderboard. Uh, each round's based on one of the week's drawings of interference. Yep. <laughs> uh, you've picked five of your favourite drawings. I have, the yeah. One teasers with the featured artists. Okay, this week we've got drawings from Core, Fish One, Rocket Skyon, Opupa Epops, and Interf 48160. Mm. So, yeah, some new people there, I think. <laughs> okay, so yeah, nice, mm-hmm. uh, nice little mixture there. Okay, yeah. interesting. Mm. Um, so, I should say, actually, um, so. I'd say 7 p.m. UK. Mm-hmm. Now, uh, because birthday party stream on Sunday, uh, we'll be starting the stream earlier than normal, um, but Zeitgeist itself will be at its regular time. Mm-hmm. So, you yeah. know, if you're just interested in the quiz, you know, Turn roll, up, normal time. <laughs> roll up just before seven, just, mm-hmm. just like normal. Yeah. Um, okay, so that is what's happening tomorrow, mm-hmm. but what happened last week? Last week we had El Guapo as a winner with 225. That's really yeah, high that's score, nice. isn't it? Yeah. And then um, Darth was second with 222, and then we had double thirds. We had Grinning Goose and Puzgal uh, with 191. Nice. So, okay. clear, yeah. so yeah, all, all quite uh, yeah. high scoring there. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay, so that's that's Sunday, mm-hmm. but yes, Thursdays. Thursdays we have like guys twenty. That's twenty questions on just one topic. And last week we had cake. A very good topic to have. Cake. Yeah. Yes. And the winner of cake was Puzgal with one hundred and ninety-two. That's practically all of them right. I know. And that... we dropped one. This was a triumph. Yeah. yeah. Um, and Goose was second with one hundred and ninety, and then Darth came third with one hundred and eighty-five. 
So some of them got some bonus mm. points there as well for being fast. <laughs> it was quite interesting, though. I, mm. I, I feel like I learned quite a bit, actually. Yeah, 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 yeah. Different yeah. types of cake and things like that. And frosting and mm. cream cheese icing. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, uh, so that was last Thursday. What's happening next Thursday? Next Thursday, we've got one called Name That Tune. So obviously we can't play the tunes, but we have to describe them. Okay. Or give you some hints. Or tell you what film they were in. That kind of thing. Okay, interesting. Mm -hmm. um, I, when you said that, I assumed it was going to be uh, lyrics. But I guess it doesn't have Not to be lyrics. You could be like, mm -hmm. oh, what song tells the story of this? Yeah. Okay, that's quite cool. Mm -hmm. All right, looking forward to that. Um, <laughs> if you'd like to join us for that, that'll be Thursday at 7pm at UK on twitch.tv slash interference. Cool. So that's all the news for now. Just goes to say. Yeah, if you're not already taking part in the game, then get involved. You can play on the web at playinterference.com or search for interference in the App Store on your device. You can also get social with us. We're on Twitter at playifx, on Facebook at playinterference and patreon.com slash interference if you want to give us a bit of support, like monthly support, ongoing maintenance of the game, uh, building the app, adding new features, running the quiz, uh, building all kinds of cool, fun, interactive stuff that we want to do for you. We really appreciate your support. Uh, you get access to things like replays and challenges and uh, cool supporter features like uh, new game modes uh, in the game. And also, if you're a quiz player, you get a custom entrance shout out from Ava. Cool. Okay, that's it for now. So we'll see you again next Saturday. Yep. Have a great week. We'll see you next Saturday. Bye. Bye.